All right, so a lot of people don't know this, but just about whatever you run off the still is going to come out clear. They think that you just brew whiskey, it comes out brown. That ain't the way it is. It turns brown because they put it in charred oak barrels. Same with rum. Brown rum, dark rum, which is from charred oak. And if you don't want to spend $500 on a charred oak barrel, you're doing a small amount, you could buy this charred oak. It's pretty fucking cool. And uh, you just cut off what you need and you let it sit for six weeks. So you let it sit for six weeks and all them caramel colors and that oak flavor will, it will change your liquor. You can do this with moonshine, you can make whiskey. Difference between whiskey and uh, bourbon is you can make bourbon because this is new oak. Uh, bourbon is whiskey that is made, that is, that is stored in new charred oak barrels. And bourbon, or whiskey, everything's fucking whiskey. But the difference is whiskey's put in old oak barrels or reused. So six weeks from now, this shit's going to taste all oaky and have that good caramel color. This is going to be our dark, this is rum. It's going to be our dark rum. You're going to add spice to this. And later on, we're going to make a spice rum video. We're going to take the same rum. And we're going to spice it. Alright, if you watched our rum video, we took a piece of charred oak and we put in each one of these jars so we could darken our rum. And now, we're going to spice it. It's been six weeks since that charred oak has been in there. And it went from clear to liquor. That's liquor colored there. It's bourbon colored. Whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to spice our rum. And in each jar, we're gonna use a three inch strip, orange peel, no white. In each jar, we're gonna put a cinnamon stick. In each jar, we're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of ginger. Each jar, we're going to put a pinch of nutmeg. That's a pinch. That's a pinch. Each jar, we're going to put two teaspoons of vanilla. Each jar, we're going to put two teaspoons of vanilla. We got six peppercorns, two allspice berries, four cloves. That's it, eh? That's it. We want to close the lids. Shake that shit like a Polaroid picture. You know what to do. You know what to do. Hey, uh, Don't sing it when I pay the motherfuckers. <laughs> and sing the chorus, bro. I'm sure that was so off tune that we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Spice rum. We'll let that sit a couple weeks and we'll taste it. If it don't taste right, I'm going to let it sit a couple more weeks. Should be good after two weeks, though. It's our spice rum now. It's been two weeks and it's been long enough. You want to get this spice out of here because it over spice it and it get too spicy flavored and that cinnamon will kill you. It'll start tasting like fireball if you let it sit any longer. Right now it's got that that uh, Captain Morgan spice rum type, you know, spice rum. It's got a good color to it. That's good.
That's like Captain Morgan's, but way stronger. You know, more of a burn. It's a little bit stronger in that Captain Morgan shit. It's really good stuff. You ought to check that out. And if you want to make some really clean liquor, you could distill it twice. It's all up to you. I think it's clean enough the way it is. It's pretty damn good. Fuck your mama, bitch. And you can smell the cinnamon and that allspice. Smell all those spices. Oh, that's really good. Mm, it's warm. It's warm all the way to the belly. You get that orange really late on the back end. Yeah, if you're gonna make some rum, you should definitely spice it.